We are back. Let me introduce you to our next guests. We'll get two different perspectives here on uh, the president asking for new legal authority to fight ISIS. And Charles Stimson, who is at the Heritage Foundation, former Deputy Assistant Defense Secretary for Detainee Affairs, and Jennifer Daskal, who former Attorney General for National Security and now an Assistant Professor of Law at American University. Thank you both for being here. Jennifer, let me begin with you. Just your reaction to the that President Obama sent up to Capitol Hill. What about the legal ramifications of it? Well, just, just to start, I credit him for finally engaging. It's been si over six months that this conflict's been going on, and the conflict's been pursued under this old 2001 AUMF that was um, passed in order to deal with those who were responsible for 2000, the attacks in 2011. So it's great that there's finally engagement. That said, um, the proposal that was put forward, I think, falls short in a number of ways. The most significant one of which is that it leaves the 2001 AUMF on the books. So the new authorization includes a three-year sunset, but doesn't address the underlying 2001 AUMF. So the end result is, is that even if this authorization sunsets in three years, there's absolutely nothing that precludes the next administration from saying, okay, well, we'll just revert back to the 2001 AUMF. So really, a lot, most of the constraints that are purportedly included in this draft proposal become rendered meaningless without also addressing the 2001 AUMF. Or if Congress does nothing, the administration can continue doing what it's doing because of the 2001 AUMF. Absolutely. But why do you think it needs to be repealed? The 2001. Well, I think it needs to be sunsetted for at a minimum because this, the 2001 AUMF has, uh, has been in place since 2001. Um, it was the the language is is sparse. It's concise. It's designed to go after those who are responsible for the 9/11 attacks, also known as Al Qaeda and the Taliban. It's been used since then in the almost 14 years to to also target so-called associated forces of Al Qaeda. Um, which include those groups that have joined the fight alongside with al-Qaeda. Al it's been used to target groups um, in a number of places outside of Afghanistan, including Yemen, including Somalia, and now in Syria. Um, and, and the problem is, is that there's not been public deliberation and buy-in. And so the conflict's been expanded via interpretation um, without having any sort of public debate or discussion as to who we are fighting, why we are fighting, even the identity of the enemy, these so-called associated forces remain classified. They're a secret. So the American public, the America is fighting a war, but the executive branch refuses to tell us at least the full range of who the enemy is in this war that we're fighting. Okay.